Here, we will describe how to reflect operation results in the schedule and how to respond to due dates for rush orders. First, we will explain how to reflect operation results in the schedule. Two days have passed since instructions were given to the production shop floor. Let's reflect the results, add new orders, and create a new schedule. We move the assignment start time forward two days to June 8th. Next, let's import the external file containing the result data. On the File menu, click Import. The results are reflected in some of the operations. Let's zoom in and check the details. Gray underlines are displayed for manufacturing orders and purchase orders in which results have been registered. In addition, the bars are shaded. Shaded bars indicate progress, and bar underlines indicate that results have been entered. These laying up process operations are assigned in the past, but their results have not been reflected. It appears that production did not proceed according to schedule due to equipment failure and other problems in the laying up process. When we reschedule, delayed operations are pushed into the future. As a result, next process operations have also been pushed forward, and some operations have become late. Operations indicated in red text indicate that they are late. Since we need to meet the due date, let's change the shifts and simulate to check if we can improve the situation. We change Saturday, June 11th to a working day for the laying up process and sheath process. When we reschedule, operations are assigned to June 11th and the delay is resolved. Next, we will describe how to consider the due date in response to rush orders. We add a new sales order, 2001, with a short due date. Let's reschedule to assign the order. Sales order 2001 has been assigned without a delay. To verify, let's check the PEG order Gantt chart. On this chart, we can verify the orders pegged to the sales order in reverse chronological order. The time indicated by a red triangle pointing down is the sales order due date. Since the right edge of the order does not exceed the due date, we can check that the order is not late. We add another sales order, 2002, with a short due date. When we reschedule, sales order 2002 is assigned successfully. However, a delay is occurring in another order. We can check immediately that we need to re-examine the schedule or adjust the due date. As seen here, we can reflect results and rush orders and quickly create schedules. Moreover, we can take care of delays ahead of time and quickly respond with sales order due dates.